me it's the girl Talisa here and welcome back to my channel so today I'm reusing my jumbo apple twist bulk the 60 inch I'm gonna do a full crochet here but first I'm gonna do some cornrows and also I'm using my tail comb my crochet needle this is the jumbo crochet needle and also I'm gonna use this Marco fashion to do my edges this is the hair that I'm using which is the Jumbo Afro Twist Bulk, the 60 inch, and I have some right here in this bag right here. So each time that I use it, I take it down and I place it in a bag. Well, this bag is also ruined right now, um, so it can stay alive and it won't look dry. Okay, so just stick with me as I create this nice crochet hair style. started off by doing my corn roll so I can roll the first here straight down to the back and then across the back back area by doing so it, it will prevent my hair from showing the, the 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 parting when I catch up my hair in the back so as you come along with me you will see exactly what I'm talking about so I can roll down the hair straight down and then across and after which i can roll down all the hairs straight down whenever i do my All the cornrows straight back meet the very back cornrow that go across and when I cornrow it down I leave all the ends because at the end of it all I do one big cornrow go to the opposite side. So I do my cornrows as small as possible just to bring out the kind of look with the crochet hair at one point my hair seems like one side was like more than one or smaller than the other side but it wasn't but somehow it just looked that way and the cornrow part it didn't take me long I just feel and part for those who that don't know how to part the hair my technique is just to feel and part once once I make the parting visible from the front to the middle part where I can see then I use my finger to feel through the rest and part it straight down and once you don't shift the comb like you know your hand maybe shift a little once your hand doesn't shift then you will get the parting once you know exactly what you're doing or what you're looking for so this is where i catch all the hair ends and i corner them in one direction then I went ahead after plaiting out to the end. The end that is leave out, I used my crochet needle and I bring it underneath my hair. So at the end, there is no leave out. So I started to apply in my crochet hair. So I push the crochet needle upward, doing it downward, um, when you're doing it downward and then you lock the hair, 
it going to show your actual hair so doing it upward now it just hide it and give it this kind of illusion look and also doing this hairstyle um you give it, it it's like giving a versatile look because you can put it in any direction you want and you know because the hair can go straight back so doing so now to put it in any style that you want is um, when you catch it up you have to like let out some hair so it kind of hide the parting so the most part of this was where I have been a lot of hair a lot of the crochet here was on the two inside and the back reason for doing so because I don't want my hair itself to show and when I catch it up into a ponytail it doesn't show it just look everything just look unique and put together it seems like a lot of hair but the most part of the hair was was around around the, the the side back the side and the back when it comes to the back when you're using the crochet needle you have to make it slant else it may feel like the crochet needle is going to break or something because you know your neck is just right there and the crochet needle is maybe a bit longer so you know it, it, it not go up as normal how it would go so you have to slant it and then put the hair on and pull it through this is two and a half packs of hair and this is also my hair that i keep on reuse this hair may seem like it's a lot but it isn't a lot but because of the texture of the hair it may seem so because this hair is like a, a afro hair a natural hair so you're not going to get that smooth look like when you're using a, a, a remy or anything any different kind of hair this is like a marley hair so and it's also 60 inch so it just seems like it's a lot of hair and question was isn't that hair heavy no it's not heavy it's just how it yeah it might look to you like it's heavy but it wasn't heavy at all and I keep this hairstyle in for a week reason why because the time is so hot and it bring the heat on so reaching to the top now, I try to ensure that the top area is also close just like the back and the sides. Especially to the part that I'm going to leave out the middle part. You don't want that part to show your hair. So you have to make sure or ensure that the hair is applying properly and your hair itself doesn't show and you know. So as you can see right here, I take I'm doing it slowly. So I push the needle through, I hook the hair, I lock it, then I pull it through with a hoop, and then I pull the hair and lock it. So what I did, I pull it down tightly on my hair so it won't like loose up. Because you know it's a Marley hair, so if it's not locked properly or pulled on tightly on your hair it will like swell so this is a space that was leave right here so it was too visible so I had to add it the next piece of hair right there to make it not visible and look uniform to the other after adding all the hair I went ahead and I used my scissors and I clip up all the flying ends and you have some of the hair that was like out of it like it's not in on the hair itself so I went and I and I palm roll it just so it go back in because it's going palm roll very easily because as I said it's a natural hair so I just palm roll it easily and that was it and that's the length of the hair imagine if I did not 
double the hair imagine if i did just lock it just at the end it would be so long because it's 60 inch so i went in now and i make two little bun to the top or ponytail to the top what would you call it because i didn't want it all in my face so i did that so i i count the rows that i'm catching up which is one two three four rows and i use my little ruffle and i catch it and i double the ruffle in two so the hardest part was to pull the hair through because i know this is long and this is just you alone doing dealing with this 60 inch hair <laughs> but it was the the top part of the hair as you can see it's actually two different color here that i'm using i'm using a 1b and i'm using a number two so i went i make sure that i don't miscount and i catch up with both sides in the same size of hair and the same rows because girl want to make sure that everything look uniform and neat but anyway guys just tell me what do you think about this hairstyle would you rock this hairstyle so as you can see right here where i'm trying to pull out the hair in the middle just so it would hide this middle part that going down to the back so pulling it from both sides where i catch the hair so it just fall right down into that space going down a lot of question asked I like your hair your hair is nice and you maintain your hairline and then I laugh I said no this is not my real hair this is a crochet hair and the comment was like wow it's really nice and it suits you so yes this is a very nice hair and it lasts a long time once you take care of it, once you maintain it do not leave this hair out or if you're using this hair once you take it down you don't have to throw it away you can always reuse it just place it in a bag so it will lock moisture and it won't dry out and you will have a long use of this hair but this hair is a very expensive hair you can use this to do a lock like adding locks to your hair until your hair is actually grown you can take it off so guys tell me what do you think so i went in with my hair foaming mousse just to keep down all those looker you know those looker flying here and that was it for this hairstyle guys tell me what do you think about this hairstyle but i wanted to do more style with it like style it up but oh my gosh the time is so humid i couldn't bother with the hair like falling on me all the time or anything so i just did this one catching up style and that was it for the whole time i had in this hair as i said i keep this hair in for a week and the only reason for keeping it for a week it was the time is hot and it bringing more heat on the body and anyway guys don't forget to watch like share and subscribe tell a friend to tell a friend and see you in my next video and thank you guys so much for following me through this journey and thank you so much guys for watching and i hope to see you in the comment section so tell me what you think about this whole hairstyle this whole complete look would you rock this hairstyle and see you in my next video goodbye